Having faith in God is how Congressman Jake LaTurner says he lives his life. The sixth generation Kansan says that it is a virtue he learned early on in life with the help of his grandmother, as well as EWTN's foundress, Mother Angelica. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more in tonight's Faith and Politics series. This neck was going to challenge you to be greater, to be more holy. It was those lessons from Mother Angelica that still resonate in the mind and heart of Congressman Jake LaTurner. It was on the entire time I was growing up. Yeah, my grandmother watched Mother Angelica every morning of her life and watches daily mass every day still. Congressman Jake LaTurner says his grandparents, Joe and Ruby, made sure he stayed true to his Catholic faith. Ironically, he says they both grew up not knowing God. My grandpa was in the Korean War and uh, while in Korea lost sight in his left eye. As a result of that, he was shipped to a hospital, Army hospital in Texas. While healing, his grandfather would help others around the hospital. One day, Joe helped a fellow soldier to Sunday Mass, which changed his life forever. Fast forward, my grandmother and him get married. Um, they'd been married for a couple of years, and uh, as he put it, something was missing in our life. And it was that experience uh, that led them to the Catholic Church. A Catholic faith Congressman LaTurner now instills in his family, a faith that believes in protecting the unborn. Life issues are what brought me into politics. I grew up standing on life chains. Uh, my family is very involved in helping candidates who are pro-life win. And I, I don't think there has been a time since Roe v. Wade where people should be more optimistic than right now. He prays the U.S. Supreme Court will bring change if and when it is presented with a case involving abortion. Congressman LaTurner says he keeps his spiritual glass full with the help of daily prayer. And he says the only way his life as a congressman works here on Capitol Hill is with the help of his wife, who he calls a superhero. And as long as they keep Christ as the center of their lives. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.